The 90s are back and we're making GIMP bracelets. Making GIMP bracelets used to be the highlight of my weekends back in the day. I was a tween, so I didn't have a lot going on. Anyway, here's what we're going to use today. Very simple. We're going to use GIMP. You can get this from a craft store. I got mine from the dollar store. And a pair of scissors. So let's talk about it. Okay, so today we'll be working with pink and purple GIMP. So I'm just going to unravel this and start off the beginning of our GIMP bracelet. Okay, so I've got about a meter's worth of GIMP here. You can't see it all here, but trust you when I say about a meter's worth of GIMP. So that's just over a yard's worth of GIMP. So I have the end pieces right here. And I'm just going to give it a little knot. So this is just going to drape over the side of my table here. And I'm going to give it a little knot. And I don't know what type of knot this is called, but just basically you can kind of put, put your fingers, um, loop the, the GIMP around your finger. Whatever finger works best for you. I'm using my index finger. And I'm just going to pull the game the GIMP out. Give it a nice pull so it's nice and tight. Nice and tight. So just zoom in a little bit here. Ooh, it's slow. Okay, so this is what my knot looks like. And here are my pieces. And let's begin. Okay, so I've got the GIMP here and I have the purple side here on the right and the pink side on the left. I'm going to start with the purple side since that's my strong side. So I've got the GIMP and I'm going to make a little rabbit hole here with the purple. So you can see here, there's a little rabbit ear hole. So what I'm going to do is I've got this already. I'm just going to give it a little twist. Just a little twist. So you can see here that the base is a bit twisted now, looks a little different. So I'm just going to keep that oops, held down with my right hand, well, fingers. And I'm going to get the pink side here and make a little rabbit hole, or rabbit ears. I don't know why I keep on saying rabbit hole. Anyway, so I've got a, I'm going to get in a second. I have a rabbit loop here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I don't need to twist this pink side, but I'm going to put it in the uh, purple rabbit loop that I have. Okay, so you can see that I put the pink through the purple, and I'm going to kind of hold down here, and I'm going to pull the pink, the purple um, gimp down with the pink rabbit ear going through it. So I pull it down. So now you can see the gimp looks like this. Okay? And so that's the most difficult part of this whole thing. So now I'm just going to go back and forth making little rabbit ears and putting them through each other. So here, purple in pink, pulling down the pink side. And now it looks like this. And so basically how it goes is, um, so here the pur when the purple is the loop, the loophole, let's just call it a loophole, it's easier than rabbits and all that jazz. So zoom in. When the purple is the loop, you, you loop the pink through it, and you pull the excess purple down and you just keep on going. So this one is a little, this pink loop here is a bit small, so I'm just gonna pull it out. And then you keep going through it. See, now we're starting to see the basis of the butterfly. There's the pink again, going through, and you pull it down. And you just keep doing that. 
So again, the main work is when you um, start it off. So what you want to do is you want to make the initial rabbit hole and you give it a little twist and then you, th you throw the other rabbit loop, sorry, rabbit loop and you pull down the gimp. So again, let's just explain it. So let's say here we're starting with the pink loop. Pink loop's open. You make a loop with the purple. Okay, and since we started with the pink, we pull the pink string down. And we see here, like this, this part here, the purple part is coming out a bit more. It's, it's not as in line with the rest of it. Just give it a little push with your finger, your thumb, and then pull down. Let's zoom out a bit. Come on. Pull down. And so this is how you make a butterfly gimp bracelet. And it's funny because back in the day, it wasn't called a butterfly bracelet, or if, at least if it was, I didn't know about it. It was, we just called it flat. Because there are other ones that were in a square and some that were zippered and so forth that just look more like, but this doesn't really look like a butterfly to me, but sounds nicer than flat. Wish my thumbs were smaller. So yeah, I used to do this all the time back in, I think even the late 80s, and definitely the 90s, so I'm dating myself a bit, but I don't really care. Anyway, yeah, this we used to, back in the day, um, get GIMP from the different arts and craft stores. I used to go to a White Rose, there was one by my house, and my Canadian friends here know a White Rose, I'm sure, and we used to buy the GIMP by the meter, or it was sold by the meter, and then you, you know you buy as much as you want. So that way you can get all sorts of crazy colors, and I'm sure they pr may probably still have it now. But we used to get glow in the dark, or see through, or ones with glitter in it, or neon. Of course, neon was huge back in the '90s, and uh, we used to make bracelets all the time. So it's kind of like riding a bike. This is all coming back to me, even though prior to a few years ago I hadn't done this since again maybe 1993, and um, maybe even '92 actually. Then it became uncool. Then people started getting into the friendship bracelet bracelets with the you know the thread, different colored thread, but that was always too complicated for me, so I never learned it. But I still like my gimp. So yeah, a few years ago, me and my friends, we got this package here. We got it from the dollar store and it came with neon colors as you saw in the beginning. And so we just made some for pride. So we had all different colors. Um, I'll probably use some for pride again this year on the weekend here because it's World Pride in Toronto, and that's where I am. And so, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna stop talking, and you can just see this. How it goes. All right, guys, so I'm almost at the end, so I'm gonna show you one last time how you do this. So again, I've got my purple loop, it's open. I'm going to make a loop with the pink side and put it through the purple side and kind of hold it down here and pull down this purple thread. And so there we go. So as I said, I'm finished with this. I've got a little bit excess left, maybe about uh, two or three, maybe four inches. And you want to leave it with about a few inches at the end because if you leave it, like say all the way to here, like not much space at all, it'll be very difficult to wrap it up, as to um to make it a full circle and to make the knot. So it's always good to have an excess. Like this side here, we don't have much of an excess, it's only may about um, three quarters of an inch, which is fine because we're we're gonna have more on this side to work with. So anyway, so now that we're done, I'm just gonna pull this last piece again, and now I've got the um, purple part free. I'm just gonna thumb that through or put that through the pink like it's a needle and I'm going to give the pink a pull down like I did before. Okay so that's ended it and to top it all off I'm just going to 
knot the two pieces of gimp together. Okay? Give it a pull. All right. So this part here, you just use your, your knotting skills. I'm not the best knotter, as I mentioned before, so I'm just going to... Eh. Curl around. Put these through. Oh, struggle, struggle, okay. So here's the finished product. Here is my GIMP, all tied up. I personally will not be using this as a bracelet because it's a little big for my little wrists. That's okay because there are several other things I could use this for. And here are some examples. You know when you're traveling by plane and you want to differentiate your suitcase from everyone else's, so when you get to baggage claim you know which one's yours right off the bat without having to sift through a sea full of black and gray suitcases? Well, slap on a butterfly gimp and you'll be good to go. And also, you can use a butterfly gimp as a phone holder. And if you click on the screen, you can see how you can do that. Thank you for watching I See Melanie. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can do so by clicking the button that's right there. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at Melly Langy. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos too, okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye.